You're watching ESPN's Champ Week, presented by SoFi. Set for game number two of four here at Kansas City. It is the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship. The quarterfinals and now the regular season champion stage arrives. It's Kansas State, a winner last night against TCU, against Baylor, a one-loss team and as dominant a performance as we have seen in quite some time in the regular season in the Big 12. Awaiting the winner of this game, Oklahoma State, Cade Cunningham, and the Pokes survive as Sean McBeal's three didn't beat the buzzer, and Mike Boynton's Pokes win a close one in quarterfinal number one. So they move on. They will take on the winner of Baylor, Kansas State, in our first semifinal tomorrow. Still in the quarterfinals to come. Two more great games tonight. Kansas and Oklahoma, followed by Texas and Texas Tech. Set for game number two of four. Bob Oshusen here with Fran Fraschilla and Holly Rowe. And Fran, now the regular season champion, takes center stage. It's hard to be more dominant and be better than Baylor was this year. Great season, and a win today would make it the best 23-game start in school history. They would be 22-1. and one. Started out early with an unblemished record. One loss in league play to Kansas. Obviously, the break set them back somewhat, but they managed to win the first title in school in, in 71 years. And of course, we know about them. They're 47 and five over the last two years. It's a three guard attack. And all of these guys can be dominant at different times. The numbers speak for themselves. What a, what a trio. They play so well together. No ego, it's a collective ego. And Holly Rowe, what a season. Emotionally, it has been for Baylor as well. Well, that's right. This Baylor team has been through so much adversity throughout the course of their season, but they've overcome it all, and they really say that it is a culture of joy. Hashtag J-O-Y. Jesus, others, and yourself. That means putting yourself behind the team, and they've absolutely done this. Look at the joy they had in the locker room. This is an unselfish group. They're two All-Americans, Jared Butler and Davion Mitchell, both lead the league in assists. They look for their own, they give it to others, and all three of those guards that are stars you're talking about, Fran, have each scored a 30-point game this year. This is a team that shares the basketball, and that has brought great joy to the Baylor Bears. Well, to keep up with these guards, Kansas State is going to have to rely on their guards. And we saw the freshman Nigel Pack fill it up, five of six from three-point land in the first round win against TCU last night. He might have to be even better than that today for the Cats to have hope. And he's played this team twice, not a lot of success, but he's growing up on the job in a game today, a good game today for Nigel Pack will certainly give him confidence he can do it against the best in this league.